Right, this is off at the top of my head. The results that happened at the weekend. I don't want to speak about Lawrence O'Coley. When his fights come on, I look, I look away. So, I'm not interested in Lawrence O'Coley at all. I like his trainer and I hope he changes his style, but I am not interested in Lawrence O'Coley. He stinks joints out. I'm also hearing that Lawrence O'Coley may never headline ever again. So, anyway, so I don't want to talk about him, but I do want to talk about Derek Chisora, Del Boy. Now, he had a fantastic win against Spilker. So, well done, Derek Chisora. And you've got to give credit where credit's due to David Hayes' input. And Dave Colwell's now, I'm not massive fans of both, but, you know, the boxing people, aren't they? Obviously, David Hayes, we know what he is, don't we? And we know what Colwell is, but Colwell looks to me like he's got Chisora in good shape and he came out looking to rock and roll. So, Dave Colwell couldn't have done any more, could he really, for Spilker, uh, for, for Chisora to beat Spilker. I mean, he iced him in round two, wasn't it? Bump, bump. I mean, pfft. I've never seen Derek like that before, so... Well done, Derek Chisora. You are now well and truly in the mix. Uh, Nine defeats on your record. People were saying you were dead and buried. Is it just good matchmaking or... Is Derek Chisora in, his, in, in, in a... Having an Indian summer, as Barry Hearn kept saying. I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, maybe he's just reinvigorated, reinvigorated with Dave Caldwell. I don't know, but uh, I don't think Derek Chisora wins the world title. But I want to see him step up and fight somebody really good now. He's not going to get a world title because the belts are uh, they're all tied up at the moment, aren't they? And, Chisora against Wilder, it'd be a dangerous fight, wouldn't it? But what he's just done to Spilker, who knows, maybe he could beat Chisora. Maybe he could beat Wilder. I don't know, but like I've just said, well done there to... Uh, well done to Dave Caldwell and David Hay. They're obviously going to cry in crest of a wave with, with uh, Chisora because you take Chisora out of the mix, who's David Hay got? Who's he got? So, David A is now going to be saying some really nice things about Eddie Hearn, isn't he? So, but he's got a bit of credibility now, hasn't he, Derek Chisora? If he fights Tyson Fury next, I don't think we could hammer Tyson, could we, for taking that fight with Chisora after the win that Chisora has just had? So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, alright. Well done, Derek Chisora. Well done Dave Cole, well, well done David Hay, well done Eddie Hearn and Sky. Well done for what you've done with Derek Chisora. It was nice to see him do that. And uh, I'm not going to cry foul play like Eddie Hearn's crying about Manny Pacquiao. I'm just going to say well done Derek Chisora, it surprised me. I lost my money at Bucky's and good on you. So... Uh, after Derek Chisora, we have uh, the other guy, don't we? Uh, Dave Allen against David Price. David Price, six foot eight, jolly giant, isn't he? Big friendly giant, BFG. He won every round against David Allen. David Allen quit, didn't he, after 10, funny, so I don't know what to say really, except, look, whatever I say here, right, it's going to get misinterpreted, isn't it? It's either, oh, Porky, you're jealous, or you're this, a hater or that. No, this is what I'm going to say. I'm just going to keep it real. David Allen, tough kid. I said to him, outside my house, 
David, you're going to have to get on social media and you're going to have to do this and you're going to have to know that to force your way. Steffi Bull told him when you were training him at the time. This was after he'd, after Dennis had got rid of him, this, and you know, he'd left Furies and blah de blah. He took it literally and you know he's 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 worked a way through social media, hasn't he, Dave Allen, by taking hard fights when he weren't ready to get the people to like him. But I think it's all catching up a little bit on him now and I feel sorry for him. But there's no injuries to him, he's got a black eye, there's no broken bones and nothing else. He's saying he's got headaches and they had them before the fight. Now I think that takes a little bit of shine off David Price's win. Because he won every round David Price and he showed that he can fight more than five rounds. And we were all led to believe that David Price is a world class fighter, won't we, for four rounds. And then he gasses and I, I, I got caught up in the hype. I got caught up, in the, caught up in the Dave Allen hype, but what did David really do on the night? What did he do? Who is Dave Allen's best win as a fighter? Lucas Brown's his best win, then you'd have to say Nick Webb, then Bracamante, wouldn't, it? wouldn't you? They're his best wins. Nick Webby were losing, and then he caught him with a bolo punch. He was losing Brown fight, and he did him with a body shot, world class stoppage. Bracamante were life and death. So, David Allen's not won an area belt. He's not won an area belt, but Sky have given him the platform. Rob Tebber on Boxing Social has given him the platform. Coogan Cassius is running around shouting, Operation Right Rhino! Well done. David knows the score, doesn't he? He's piled all these people up. He's just took good advice. He's a smart kid. He gets it, doesn't he? You know, he even tried to get the Carrymore sponsorship, didn't he? Playing the old, the man from, uh, what's the word? The, ma the, the, the boy next door or the just genuine kid and all that. Look, he's likeable, isn't he? He's got the likeable factor to it and, you know, he's created this story and that. I'm not going to go too much into it because we all, we all know what's going on, don't we? But I think he should retire. He's already been slurring the last 18 months. He will know he's been slurring, right? But money makes you do mad things. Money makes you do mad things. But... He's saying he's had bad headaches and he's not been well 18 months. Now, if he is allowed to fight again that by the British Boxing Board of Control and he gets injured, will somebody be to blame now? Will Barry Hearn and Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports and the Boxing Board of Control be to blame if David, if David Allen gets hurt in the ring? So with David saying that, I do not think the board will let him fight again. I don't think they will. And what promoter's going to want to take somebody on that's saying he's got health problems? It's going to be another Robin Deakin job, isn't it? So I don't think David Allen will fight again, not after making a statement like that. And if it's not true, why say that? Because I'm also hearing that somebody's coming out saying he's been misquoted and it's not true and he didn't have any injuries and he didn't stop in the hospital at night he signed himself out against advice and he came back and went to the after party and people were hugging him and they were doing selfies and they were doing interviews and when really he should have forget forget the fame thing forget that go and get yourself sorted out at the hospital but I think David has become addicted to fame hasn't he really and I think it's a shame but, they should put him on Love Island, shouldn't they? Or they should do a reality programme at Babe Station and get him on that, obviously, shouldn't they? Because, you know, he like, he, he, he's liking his 15 minutes of fame, isn't he, David? But if he's got health problems, his words, not mine, and bad headaches, how did he pass the medical? He must have told them that there's nothing wrong with him. So, I don't know, but we're coming out with that. I'm hearing that he's going to have problems getting licensed again. So, because who's going to license him if he gets hurt?
because there could be legal issues, couldn't there? So he's now going to have to go through rigorous testing and, you know, £750 British boxing motor control medicals. So if it's not true, you have to be very careful what you say on social media, don't you? But, you know, Dave Allen's got a few quid out at job, hasn't he, and no belt. But that's the good thing. The bad thing is, his health's now at risk, isn't it? So I think that's a shame. I think it's a big, big shame. But what can you do? It's just one of them things, isn't it? One of them things. But it is what it is, isn't it? So, but last June, 13 months ago, or May, June, he could have been on Dennis and Jaffa's show. He didn't do 10 tickets. So he got took off the show and he fought Tony Yoka. And since then, his stock's risen, hasn't it? He's had four wins on top before the price loss. So he's been active this last year. So well done. But I think he showed his levels, didn't he, really, David? You can be funny on Twitter and knock Nebo out and Bracamonte. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? And a 40-year-old Lucas Brown. But David Price, a British-level guy. He's British-level, David Price, isn't he? David Price, British level, we saw him against Cash Alley, that was a stinker, and he, he, he was just about to lose on that, and so he, if Cash Alley hadn't a bit him, he was going to lose, so David Price won every round against Dave Allen, has he turned the corner now, I don't know, but he seems a pretty genuine guy, doesn't he David Price, in all his interviews, so good luck to David Price, good luck to him, uh, good luck, to, good luck to Dave Allen as well. You know he's had it tough, Dave, hasn't he? A tough upbringing. Uh, you know, very, very tough upbringing. But you know, we're talking about boxing here, aren't we? You know what I mean? We're not talking about upbringings, and we've all had tough upbringings. I've had a tough upbringing, but a lot in itself. You know, a lot, and it's my own fault. But. But yeah, uh, Dave Allen, onwards and upwards, or won't give a license again. I don't know how it's going to work, but I, I have heard that the board are going to want to see him because, you know, him saying he's had headaches and this and that. It's it's not going to look good when you're coming out with things like that. He's took a bit of shine off of David, David Price's win, isn't it? Because people are saying, well, Dave Allen had headaches and... So I'm a bit disappointed with David saying that it's took the shine off of David Price's win, but people saying that that's David Price's best winning uh, win is no, 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 no. He beat a gold medalist in Audley Harrison, who was a European champion or former European champion, and a guy who fought for a world title. So. I think on paper that is David Price's best win. A former European champion and a former Olympic gold, Audley Harrison. That is David Price's best win. Audley Harrison's CV is a little bit better than Dave Allen's. Dave Allen's no Olympic medal, no European title. And he didn't fight for a world title. Audley fought for a world title, European champion. Former European champion, sorry, former Olympic gold. So, all you people that are saying Dave Allen is David Price's best win, no, 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 no. Audley Harrison is David Price's best win, and David Price beat David Allen, but it is not his best win. So, if Dave Allen does fight again, he will probably fight Tom Little and Cash Alley. Because he's just been beat by Price, and Price has just beat Cash Alley, and he's just beat Tom Little Price as well. So there's two fights there for Dave Allen. He could pick up, you know, a ten ten grand a piece for them, and get you know get his send a bit more pocket money, couldn't he? And you know, spend a bit more money on his house or something with that money, couldn't he? But Dave Allen is at the level of Tom Little and Cash Alley. That is Dave Allen's level. They don't have Olympic medals and they don't have any belts, do they? 
that's the level Dave Allen's at. Cash Alley and Tom Little, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about levels. If you've not won an area level belt, right, why would you be saying to us, I am two fights away from fighting Anthony Joshua if Ruiz beats Joshua in the rematch. I didn't get Dave Allen coming out with that. I'm sorry. I know David will probably be watching this. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave, but I don't, I don't get that, mate. Why you'd be saying that you're two fights away from fighting Joshua? Is that because you know that Joshua, is, uh, you'd be on pay-per-view fighting him? And you're trying to put yourself in that mix? Because you kept telling us that you were fighting Povetkin. I mean, your trainer, Darren Barker, while getting the fight, telling Eddie Hearn to make that fight. I, I don't get that. You've not won an area belt, but I don't get it. Am I a hater for saying that? I don't know, I know David Allen. David Allen's there, look. We've been all over with David Allen. My neighbour for years, look, me, him and Robin Reed there. Am I out of order saying that Dave Allen shouldn't be in ring with uh, Povetkin? Am I? Is that bad me saying that? Eddie Hearn was trying to make the Povetkin fight. Look what Povetkin did to David Price. What would Dave Allen do if he fought Povetkin? Would he... Uh, would he quit after a few rounds and take the money and run? But tell us he's going to knock him out because Dave Allen had all these bad headaches, didn't he? So he's saying he had headaches, but he didn't tell Eddie Hearn and didn't tell medical staff. So he's got these headaches, but in the same breath, he's saying, I'm going to knock David Price out in three rounds. Bookies had him favourite. I put my money on him as well in an accumulator. But yet... He never won a round and he's now saying, oh, well, I've had health problems 18 months. He's doing a David A on us with all these injuries, but stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. But really, his body's patched up, in it. He gets in ring and then that's what happens. But then again, look at his trainer, Darren Barker. Darren Barker. He got a million pounds to fight Sturm in Germany and he quit in round one. Due to being injured, or round one or round two, quit, citing a hip problem. So he never ran in training camp for the fight. He came out swingers in round one, but I also heard that he didn't hardly train for it. He just got the weight down and he just took his money and cashed out. So Darren Barker has got form for that, hasn't he? Darren Barker's got form for leading us down a merry, a, a, merry, a, a merry path. Leading us up garden path. Darren Barker did it in Germany. But he was saying he was going to beat Sturm and knock him out and do wonders. Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. And then he went on about, well, I had a nip injury in it. And a bit like the, Ricky, a bit like the Nicky Cook thing with... Nicky Cook and Ricky Byrne. Nicky Cook were patched up, wasn't he? To fight Ricky Burns for the world title. When he came back after that layoff. And Darren Barker did it with Sturm. And Dave Allen's admitted it, hasn't he? Dave Allen's saying, Oh, I've bad headaches 18 months. Am I a bad person for saying this? Am I? Am I a hater? Am I jealous of David Allen? No, I'm not. I like Dave Allen, he's likeable, but my channels, we say it as we see it, don't we? I don't suffer fucking fools gladly. I don't need any new friends. People have got my phone number, they're lucky to have it. But uh, they're, they're classed them as mates if you've got my number, or acquaintances, but I'm not going to have fucking wool pulled over my eyes by boxers anymore. Saying one thing and doing a fucking another, eh? Get your money on me for round three, I'm going to knock him out. He won't go three rounds. But yet now he's got bad headaches. But then he's saying he ain't got headaches. And he has or he ain't. And his injuries and health problems. And what the fucking hell's going on? Am I being fucking lied to or what? What the fucking hell is all this? It's a load of shit, isn't it? Wheeling people out because... Oh, they get a few people buying a few pay-per-views lining Eddie Hearn's pocket. On fights with Dillian White and Rivers, two kids not born in England and no world title. But yeah, it's pay-per-view. 
Great show, but it, and it would have been even better if it weren't 20 quid. But as far as I'm concerned, it was not a pay-per-view. But Rivers White turned out to be a good fight, didn't it? So, but it's still, like George Grove said, didn't he? George Grove said in his interview on IFL, it wouldn't have been pay-per-view five years ago. It wouldn't have been. Because you've got to have a world title fight for pay-per-view, haven't you? So, Chantel Cameron, she went overnight. So, good luck to her. So, might have got that wrong because I haven't even seen that one. But, uh, interesting though about David Allen, isn't it? Very interesting. You know, it took, if he should have kept that to himself, really, because he dropped Eddie Earn, in it, hadn't he? If it's true, but he might backdate now and say, only a migraine, but yet, if you've seen it 18 month health problems, why aren't Coogan Cassius and Rob Tether, his PR people, why aren't they doing a proper interview with him and asking him these proper questions? Or are they just not wanting to... I don't know, it's a bit hard when you make with people, isn't it? Because they rim him, don't they? They have a certain select band of people that do views, don't they? There's about 20 people in boxing that they need access to all the time. David Allen's one of them. It's interesting. But it looks to me like... Dave Allen's going to struggle to get a license again, from what I've heard. But it is what it is, isn't it? But I don't think he'll be anywhere near anything for six months. So, I don't know. But David, knowing David, he'll go to every show, do loads of selfies. It's on social media daily. Good luck to him. If you can get a few quid out of the job, get it. But don't get it at the expense of conning people, Dave Allen. Don't do it. Don't go in the ring if you're not 100%. It's not good. It's conning fans. Can't believe it. Saying I'm 18 month feeling and bad eye headaches and blah de blah. And not telling your promoter and all that. Darren Barker didn't even know what he was going to weigh on night. Dave Allen was training out here at Steffi Bull's gym. One here on pads with Ray Doyle. Darren Barker said he trained him 20 week. Not true. Darren Barker's just a Sky man, isn't he? He's married to one at Sky Secretary, isn't he? So they're going to keep him sweet, but we know what Darren Barker is, don't we? He's another one of them con men that con everybody. And I don't want Dave Allen to go down that way, but this is what boxing does to you, doesn't it? You get a couple of mortgages around your neck and you need that payment, don't you? So you're going into the ring, taking punishment, and then going to quit. But yet Dave Allen called Amir Khan a quitter and he called. Joshua had quit, didn't he? He told him he would have quit and he should go live on an island, but didn't Dave Allen quit? I don't know, I look like he quit to me. Dave Allen quit. Then Eddie Hearn said he'd done his eye socket or his orbital bone and all that, and they carried him off in a stretch and all that, but then they said there's nothing wrong with him. They were laughing and joking in an ambulance, and they were in a bar one at night before, at half past two. Derek Chisora said, What's all that about? You're in a bar the night before half past two. The night before the biggest fight of your life. Is that because he knew we were going to quit? I don't know. Am I out of order doing this video or is it just the truth? I'm only going on what information we've got. Dave, give me a ring. Give me a ring, Dave. Give me a ring and uh, come on channel, Dave. We'll, uh, we'll do an interview. You don't have to meet me. We'll do it on phone. But, uh, or do you just do interviews with Rob Tebbett and Coogan? Because they're big TV outlets in the country. Is that all you do interviews with Dave? Coogan and Rob Tebbett? Because anybody else, it'd be a waste of time. I don't know. Just, I don't know, really. Couldn't get rid of Dave Allen a year ago. Strange. I don't know. But, it is what it is, isn't it? But we don't really do interviews on this channel unless it's Dennis's Fighters. Uh, I'm not a big fan of interviews at all. I never bothered Peter Fury in Bulgaria with I like to give an opinion on all, all the information that I have got here for this weekend. It looks to me like that Dave, Dave Allen quit and then said that I've had bad headaches 18 months and Eddie and then said, oh, he's got his eye socket broke, this and that, hyping it up. And he never had anything broke. Not one broken bone in his body. Not one. 
So I don't know. But uh, getting back to Chisora, well, I've heard that David Hay is pushing for Chisora Parker on pay per view. Chisora Parker pay per view for no belt. Both not born in England. Good fight though. But both not born in England and not for a belt, but pay-per-view. So the criteria for pay-per-view has changed if Parker fights Chisora. Very interesting. Would Chisora fight Joe Joyce? No. He won't fight Joe Joyce. Would Chisora fight Daniel Dubois? No. He won't fight him. But Frank Warren will be looking to upset the apple cart this week, trust me. And get Chisora in a fight with Davy Day. Look, money talks and bullshit walks. Davy Day is probably hoping secretly that Joshua gets beat by Ruiz. Then he can put, then they can have a round robin, can't they, with Joshua and all these British guys that Eddie's going his books and New Zealand guys and Ergovic and all them. Eddie will probably have a match room heavyweight tournament. I won't put it past him. But Chisora Parker, Chisora Ergovic, Chisora Joyce, Chisora. Dubois, Chisora Gorman, Chisora Dave Allen, make it if Dave Allen's not got anything wrong with him. Make it. Dillian White, Rivers, great fight. Thought it were a great fight. Dillian got dropped. He took a big risk fighting that kid. Well done to Dillian and well done to Mark Tibbs and his dad Jimmy. Well done, I like them. Good boxing people. Uh, We've covered uh, Steffi's show, I only really wanted to speak about Apple Yard and uh, Terry Harper, Thurman Pacquiao, we've covered that, good fight. Uh, what next for Gisora now, I think it'd probably be Parker, he, uh, he's one of his fighters isn't he, Eddie's, so is Chisora, that's a good fight, is it pay per view, no, but it's a very very good non pay per view fight, if Eddie had put that on non pay per view, uh, He'd get my respect, he would. Uh, yeah, he would get my respect. Dillian White's now mandatory for Wilder. He's gonna have to wait though, but he's got the white he's got the got the fight. Would they put Dillian White in, in, in with Chisora again for pay-per-view? Well it's a pay-per-view and there'd be no belt and they're both not born in England. Now a lot, a lot of people keep digging me out for that, but the point I'm trying to make is that a few years ago, the criteria Sky said, if you go look online, what well, they've got to be from this area and they've got to be a world title. Frotch, Groves, world title. World title, Frotch and Kessler. Rematch. So, Frotch, Boutte weren't, and that were a world title. So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, that's that done. Let's have a look. So, we've covered. White Rivers, great fight, great fight. Chisora Spilker, great fight. Dave Allen, Price, not very good for me because I wanted David Allen to win, but David Allen stuck it out and it was a good win for David Price, wasn't it? But not his best win. But Eddie Earn getting carried away saying it's David Price's best win. No, it wasn't. David Price on paper's best win. He's Audley Harrison, former European champion, former world title challenger, Olympic gold. Audley Harrison is David Price's best win. Not David Allen. David Allen has not won an area belt. Let's get the facts right. And he only had a handful of amateur fights. But David Allen is a social media funny man. He's funny. And he trained for the fight, didn't he? So he said. So he said. But we need... We need uh, David Allen to come out and talk about whether he was in a bar at 2.30 and like Shizora said he's got to come out and answer these questions he's got to come out and answer the headache stories and his health for the last uh, 18 months why has he been fighting 18 months if he's had health problems we need to know because the fans have been cheated haven't they? The bookies will feel cheated as well won't they? Border Control have been cheated, Eddie Hearn will be, be cheated you can't come out with things like that and take David Price. If it's not true, you took shine off David Price's win. So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, it's not good. But peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. All right.